How to compare fractions. Introducing common denominators. You know how to compare fractions with like denominators. For example, 3 twelfths and 5 twelfths. But what about if you need to compare fractions that don't have the same denominator? For example, 3 fourths and 2 thirds. Now here is what 3 fourths and 2 thirds look like. As you can see, the picture shows that 3 fourths is larger than 2 thirds. But what if you don't have a picture? Or what if you have a problem that involves fractions with different denominators? How do you compare the two? To compare fractions with unlike denominators, rewrite the fractions with like or common denominators, making them like fractions. Here's what that means. Let's look at the picture 3 fourths and 2 thirds again. Now notice that each fraction has been renamed to 9 twelfths and 8 twelfths. How do we get those numbers? In the fractions 3 fourths and 2 thirds, we have two options. The first is to multiply the larger denominator, 4, by 2 to get 8. Then ask yourself, does 3 divide evenly into 8? And the answer is no. So we move on to the next number. Multiply the larger denominator, 4, by 3 to get 12. Does 3 divide evenly into 12? The answer is yes. So 12 is the common denominator of the denominators 4 and 3. Now that we know that 12 is the common denominator for the fractions 3 fourths and 2 thirds, we can write each fraction with a denominator of 12. If we take 3 fourths and multiply the numerator and denominator by 3, we get 9 twelfths. And if we take 2 thirds and multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4, we get 8 twelfths. 9 twelfths and 8 twelfths are now like fractions. So now all we have to do is compare the numerators. Since 9 is greater than 8, the fraction 9 twelfths is greater than 8 twelfths. You can also divide to find a common denominator. Think of the denominators 4 and 8 and 3 fourths and 5 eighths. Does the smaller denominator 4 divide evenly into the larger 8? Yes, then the larger denominator 8 is the common denominator. If the smaller denominator does not evenly divide into the larger, multiply the larger denominators by 2, 3, and then 4, and so on. Each time check for division by the smaller denominator. Here is an example of common denominators. Koko, Misu, and Tama decided to cross the lake. Koko rose two-fifths of the trip, while Misu rose one-half of the trip. How much does Tama need to row? If we look at two-fifths and one-half, we notice they have unlike denominators. First, we ask ourselves, does two divide evenly into five? The answer is no. So we take 5 and multiply it by 2, and we get 10. Then we take 10 and divide it by the smaller denominator, 2. Is 10 divisible by 2? The answer is yes. So 10 would be our common denominator. We can now take 2 fifths, multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, and that equals 4 tenths. We can take 1 half, multiply the numerator and denominator by 5, and that gives us 5 tenths. And now we can go ahead and compare both fractions by adding them. 4 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 9 tenths. So Misu and Coco rode 9 tenths of the way. We take 10 tenths and subtract it by 9 tenths, which gives us 1 tenth. And we notice that Tama has to row one-tenth of the way to reach the other side.